morning kids did you sleep well so we are looking at another day in our devotional today do you remember last week all that lightning we had and the thunder that was so cool so today we are looking at our our one today is called stormy weather so i thought that was really cool but at least it's sunny now so we can get outside i think we're going to get the paddling pool out today but um so stormy weather and our reading comes from job 28 verse 26 it reads God made rules for the rain and he set a path for the thunderstorm to follow that's really cool so howling wind pounding rain booming thunder lightning streaks across the sky you know what this is it's a storm scientifically speaking a storm is any serious disturbance in the earth's atmosphere there are storms of wind, hail, snow, and even dust. But the most common storms are thunderstorms. They have dark clouds, heavy rain, lightning, thunder, and strong winds. Thunderstorms happen when hot, moist air rises up and meets cooler air. As the warm air cools, clouds, rain, and lightning form. Meanwhile, the cooler air sinks towards the ground, creating strong winds. Meanwhile, oh, I read that book. Some 1,800 thunderstorms happen across our planet every single day. And that's not counting all the other kinds of storms. Thunderstorms, snowstorms, and dust storms are all usually violent, often dangerous, and definitely scary. But don't worry, Jesus knows a thing or two about storms. He once walked through a storm at sea, right on top of those angry waves. They didn't even slow him down. Matthew 14 verse 22 to 23 shows us the whole story. Another time he slept through a storm, at least until his disciples woke him up. Then he told the storm to hush and be still. And we see that in Mark 4 verse 35 to 41. The thing is, you're going to have storms in your life. Thunderstorms, friend storms, family storms, or maybe even a faith storm. But know this, Jesus is ready to walk with you through the storms. So ask him for help. He'll be with you from the first glimpse of the storm clouds until the sun comes out again. Our prayer today, dear Lord, when storms come in the skies, in people around me or in my heart, help me to remember that you are right there with me and that you are bigger than any storm. In Jesus' name, amen. That's a lovely one, isn't it? Sometimes the storms are in the sky, in thunderstorms and rainstorms and all of that. But sometimes life can feel a bit stormy. Sometimes when our friends aren't being very nice or our brother and sister are being a bit annoying or our parents are a bit grumpy sometimes and even homeschooling sometimes that can feel like quite a big storm at the moment but remember Jesus is there with you in the storm he won't leave you alone when the storm comes he's right there holding your hand and walking you through the storm so speak to him in the storm say Lord Jesus I really don't like this please help me through this thank you that you're with me so remember he loves you so much he won't leave you to face the storms on your own. So our how great interesting fact today is there's a place in Venezuela, I like that word, around the Lake mm, uh, Lake Maracaibo um, where the storm almost never ends. Wow. For about 300 days each year, lightning zaps down at an average of 28 strokes per minute. Wow, and sometimes unleashes up to 3,600 bolts an hour, or one per second. Oh, I'd love to see that. Known as Catatumba, Catatumbo lightning, this storm is so fierce and powerful that it can be seen up to 250 miles away. Wow, I don't think I'd like to live there because I don't think I could sleep with all that thunder and lightning going on but I'd definitely like to go for a day trip. Well, have a lovely day in the sunshine.
and I hope you're enjoying these devotionals. I find them quite interesting, even if I can't say all the words very well. Then um, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.